with the Netflix Dark Crystal Age of Resistance out as of late yesterday, Unum, there have been a couple of questions I've seen pop up time and time again as a result of them allowing us to explore so much more of Wondrous Thraw. One of those questions is, is that the same general from the movies? I want to answer that question on today's episode of The Dark Crystal Conjunction. Well, howdy y'all, this is Jason again, and welcome to The Dark Crystal Conjunction, your YouTube dream space to nerd out about all things The Dark Crystal. So let's get right into this. So is that the same general that we find in the films? The simple answer to this is simply nay. Nay, I say. Skek Ung is the Gartham Master, who later becomes the Emperor in the film, while one of the main antagonists in the Netflix series is Skek Var, the General. But at one point during the show, even I got confused, actually, a couple times. Why the confusion? Well, for starters, in the parallel story from the Drenchen Gelfling Naya's point of view, Shadows of the Dark Crystal by J.M. Lee, we see Skek Ung, the Gartham Master Emperor from the film, named, present in the castle, and called the General. And he turns out to be the one who captures Naya's brother, Gurjin. Yeah, just Gurjin. That brings us to the first point of confusion, the titles of the Skeksis. Both of these Skeksis are called General. That is their role, not their name. Skek Ung was in a general type role as he led their troops, the Gartham, during the film. Thus, the title General doesn't contradict the more precise title of Gartham Master. And when he's called the General in the book, it's just that at the time of the books, there are no Gartham as of yet. And we see Skek Var in Age of Resistance fulfill that General role title as well. Thus, he is titled the General. For the most part, Skeksis stick to their same roles. Some have ambitions to be more, namely Emperor, or at least the Emperor's advisor to eventually get into that role. Uh, and Skek Ung eventually does become Emperor, as we know from the film. And Skek Var was, at one point, the Ambassador. So he wasn't always in that general role. But that is a tell we'll get into when we talk about his lore more. Secondly, they both have similar descriptions, physically, in apparel, and as brutes. And they both fulfill that role. On the darkcrystal.com, which is just quoting from the World of the Dark Crystal book, and by the way, the darkcrystal.com is another place I should have mentioned in my last video that is a great place to nerd out about all things the Dark Crystal. And I should also mention that I have seen a lot of the wikis improve since the Netflix show came out, but, but still, I would double check your sources. Anyways, on the darkcrystal.com, Skek Ung is described as wearing a dark robe, and Skekvar has mostly darker colors as well, though he is clad in more darker armor, not simply robes. In the overview, it says, Strongest of all for brute force, after the Emperor, was Skek Ung the Gartha Master. Torment was his pleasure. Recall Skekvar tortures the Gelfling to get info out of them. Though his Urskek originally had been a healer and continued so in his Uru form, hidden in that tall, shiny Urskek was one who, ages later, could find pleasure in tearing apart the gentle Gelflink. Again, recall Skek Var just wanted to crush them or make use of his talons rather than talk to the Gelfling. The Urskeks knew this evil was in them and tried hard to burn it out. And that's another fascinating story, but for another time. Now, when we read from the Gelfling Gathering Collection, an excerpt from a Gelfling journal dated Rose Sunday, 14th Moon, 96 years AGC, we read this description on Skekvar the General. Skekvar the General, and when Skeksil's lies do not work, it's referring there to the paragraph above about Skeksil the Chamberlain, the Emperor turns to his General, notice there it's being used like a title, for a more forceful solution. A master of martial skill and strategy, Skekvar is perhaps the most honest of his dishonest brethren, but not above using dirty tricks, aka torturing the Gelflings. So you can see the similarities. Tridly, I mean, uh, thirdly, their outfits and mannerisms. When I started getting more of a Garth and Master vibe from the general in the Netflix show, I thought maybe this was Skek Ung. I just misheard or got confused some of the names, and he was just wearing battle armor. I mean, after all, we do see Skek, so the Emperor donning some battle armor that we don't see in the movie itself. Plus, some of the triangular patterns on their outfits had some great similarities. And speaking of their triangle patterns, there's something I found pretty interesting that is said in the World of the Dark Crystal. When it shows this portrait of Skek Ung the Gartha Master, it says this, A vivid portrait of Skek Ung the Gartha Master clutching his staff of power. 
Much of Skegon's power must have come from his ability to assume positions of geometric harmony, unusual for a Skeksis. The overlay in the portrait clearly reveals this. I did find it interesting that Skegvar has a lot of those same triangular patterns as well. I mean, a lot of stuff in Thra does, but especially these generals and what they wear. And then there was the grunting and the snarls, and when you upset them, that feathery part of their back armor garb rises, like, very peacock-like. Above you can see that with Skekung, and then below with Skekvar. However, when you put them side by side, you can notice more dissimilarities. Those feather-like things slope downward on Skekung, and they're upward on Skekvar. However, when they, when they kind of get in that hissing, growling mode, something still rises from their back, so I'm not exactly sure what that is. Lastly, there is the foreshadowing aspect of Skekvar. He has a very similar role as Skek Ung, more so than just being a military general. In that, they both have quite the beef with Skeksel the Chamberlain. Both pairs are vying for political power. In the film, this culminates to trial by stone, Haskiga, which leads to Skek Ung gaining the power and title of emperor. But Skekvar winds up with a very different fate. To say it another way, Skek Ung, the Gartham Master, is simply not in Age of Resistance, except for a name drop when they're talking about which Skeksis are away. Skek Saw and Skek Na will be useful in a fight, and Skek Ung is a strong warrior. Again, okay, both of them are strong warriors, the very brute force type Skeksis. Well, I originally wanted to also have this video include the history and lore of Skekvar the General, beginning with Creation Myths Volume 3, where we find out that he was previously an ambassador before he was a general. To the Gelfling, and with Skekso the Emperor's help, he began the Alliance of the Crystal, which was between Skeksis, Gelflings, and Podlings. But I think we'll have to sing that song in our next Dream Fast together. So until then, let me know what questions you'd like to see answered. There is much to be learned. And you have no time. I have lots of ideas that came about from the new show, but I'd love to hear what y'all think. Help me pick the next answer in the comments. So until next time, keep exploring Thraw.